Okay. Hello, I'm Tom Kirk, and I'm here today with Micah Aiton and Lynn Brazina. Uh, Lynn is with Bavar Cultural Alliance, and Micah uh, purchased one of the uh, pieces of art that we, we've had on display at First Wave Financial through the Cultural Alliance's uh, Arts and Public Places program. And uh, I'd uh, like uh, Micah to tell us kind of what she thought about this piece and kind of why she bought it and what attracted her to it. Well, what I like about it is the movement of the birds and they are so lifelike even though if you look at the details you don't see a complete bird like you would see it on the beach when you actually look at one close up you see more the the life in them rather than the individual bird and this is not a Florida beach it's a European beach um, so that's something familiar and I like uh, the way the hint of the sunrise is in this, and in Fritz's favorite color, salmon. Mm -hmm. And these uh, rocks in the, in the water, you could look at them thinking, ah, are they rocks or are they boats? Um, it's open for interpretation. Um, it gives, gives a lot of depth with the birds coming from way back and then some of them being close by. Well, thank you, Micah. And uh, she mentioned that this is uh, Fritz. This is a Fritz Van Eden piece. And I understand that uh, as we're sitting in Micah's house, she has other Fritz, piece, Fritz Van Eden pieces here. It's actually a student yes. of Fritz Van Eden. Mm -hmm. you can maybe ex explain some of that uh, relationship that you've had with, with Fritz okay. over the years. Um, I was lucky enough to catch Fritz's last class that he was giving at uh, um, Brevard Art Museum and he just opened me up for painting. Um, his method was just the kind of medicine I was looking for. Uh, it was real relieving, real uh, liberating to learn to paint in his style. Um, you can't make any mistakes when you paint in that style. It's, and it's a fresh approach um, it's modernistic, yet you see what is being painted. Um, you, you use a lot of bold colors. Um, I guess that's it. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for that history. And, um, you know, I'd just like to uh, mention how much of a joy it is for us to work with Lynn and the Bar Cultural Alliance and participate in their Arts and Public Places program. As I was mentioning uh, on the way, I see it really is like a, a triple win. You know, you like okay. to do things that have lots of different benefits. You know, we have the opportunity to display local art. Um, and, and give local artists a, a forum. A uh, wonderful venue then we'll take to, you. to display and showcase their artwork. Right. I mean, it's been a pleasure for us too because you have been a champion of the arts for many, many years, I know. Yeah. And to have you open up your business and uh, as a venue for supporting the arts in our community is just over the top. So we well, really want to thank you. Well, it's my pleasure. And, and thank you for your help. You know, it, it helps make our office uniquely decorated. I mean, to have original uh -huh. local art on the walls is just fantastic. And then the icing on the cake is occasionally uh, a, an artist piece gets purchased. It's all and for sale. All for sale. So we'll have uh, somebody like uh, Micah that comes and buys it. We bought a piece uh, for our own personal house. We bought a couple of pieces for the office. And, and it's just uh, the public is welcome to come over to First Wave Financial at 1300A1A any time uh, to see the art on display and to uh, support our local artists, which we have great caliber of local art here in Brevard County. And we artists are grateful for any exhibit space we can get. And if it's in a nice office, it's even better. <laughs> well, thank you very much.